this video is by request from a friend. Um, this is going to be teaching everyone how to uh, make a rumble effect in uh, Sony Vegas. It's like an earthquake effect. So, I already have a video uh, copied, so I'm going to paste it in here if I can. Ah, uh, never mind, it's not working, so I'll just uh, take one of my videos and put this in there. Why it's not working. So, let me just open one real quick. Um, yeah, I'll just take one this way. Project. Okay. okay. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is going to delete this track. Alright. Um, I guess I'll just take a no scope if I can find one. Alright, here's one. Here's a good one. Alright, so, if you have this full clip, alright, first what you're going to do is you're going to split it at a certain part. Um, I guess I'll just play through it to figure out what part I'm going to, uh, keep. So I'll split it there. Alright, now I'm going to make this uh, a lot bigger because it's a small clip. So I'll pull this all the way over there. Alright, now, wait one second. Alright, All right. now let's split this out. I don't need it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this clip a lot longer. I'm going to uh, have it slow-mo. Because I think it looks better. So I'm going to have it slow-mo. I'm going to play through it. And then right up until the snipe. Right there. I'm going to split the clip. And I'm going to take the slow-mo out of the, uh, the other section. You can uh, control that by pressing control and going to the edge here. So basically my video is like this. I shoot him. And then it goes regular, regular speed. So on this clip, I'm going to try to put that rumble effect in. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a video event slash pan slash crop. Alright. Mine's up here. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to make a, a keyframe. Right about, you know, I'll make one right there. And I'll make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to move it a little bit. And I'll make another one right there. Yeah. And you're just going to want to keep moving this back and forth and creating keyframes to give it that rumble effect. You can do it uh, however way you really want to. This is, uh, I'm just going to press some random, uh, put this clip in some random places just for this video but some people like to do like designs or something on there and uh, some people also like to put in like a flash effect or something and you can pretty much do that by uh, going into uh, effects and adding like a hard flash an intense bright light or something like that that's pretty much how you can do that All right. And I guess I'll stop it right before that, or right after that snipe. Should be really fast rumble. Alright, so this is it. It's slowed down, and then once it gets to the fast part, it should rumble. Like that. And uh, that's a really cool effect, I think. I'll play it through again, because it's kind of hard to see the rumble. But that's how you do it. And uh, if you have any questions, comment. And uh, if you have any suggestions, leave, leave a comment. Uh, that's it.